Good morning, good evening to all of you wherever you are. In today's video, I am going to talk about will artificial intelligence take over your job? This is possibly one of the most trending questions in 2023, especially after the birth of Chad GPT. The concern is genuine, considering the immense potential shown by Chad GPT. In fact, there are reports that Chad GPT has already impacted a few businesses worldwide. In this video, I am going to analyze the situation and will give you a reality check on this question. Will artificial intelligence take over your job? So let me start by looking at what AI can do and what it can't and how does it stand against human intelligence as of now. So I will take a few examples to help you understand what I mean to say. Let's start with the first example. Think of a small kid. The parents take the kid out and for the first time, the kid sees a dog. The father of the child tells the kid, hey look, it's a dog. Now do you think next time when the kid is out and, they, and the kid still sees a dog, will the kid be able to identify the dog? Maybe not. But if this repeats three or four times, the kid will be able to identify the dog properly. Now let's compare this situation with an artificial machine designed to identify a dog from the given pictures or a cat from the given picture. Now how many images do you think are required to be fed into this machine before it can start identifying the dog as a dog? Let me tell you that this is going to take at least 1000 images before it can start correctly identifying. But that is dependent on many other factors. So minimum number of images required has to be thousands and above. Now, as you can imagine, in this case, human mind requires minimal amount of data to be able to recognize things, which is a cognitive power. It is also now able to take a decision by looking at an animal and say, yeah, it's a dog. Right? That is the first example to give you a difference between human intelligence and artificial intelligence. Now let's take another example. Consider that I'm a writer and I want to write an article about future of artificial intelligence. And in this article, I want to include three things. One, what is artificial intelligence? What is the current state of artificial intelligence? And what is the future of artificial intelligence? So naturally I go to Google and search what is the future of artificial intelligence or simply future of artificial intelligence. And how many results do I get? 973 million results. Now, as a human being, I have to scan through these results to first ascertain where do I get all the material. Number two, are these sources authentic? And then I have to edit it to make it work. But I have an alternative. I can go to ChatGPT and write a prompt. So I write this prompt as you can see on the screen. And the moment I hit the enter button, voila, it can give me an article which contains all the three sections. And possibly in the way in which I would like to write it. Now my job is to just go through it, edit it, customize it before publishing it. So if I use Google to produce the same article, it may take me two days to three days. But if I use ChatGPT, I can do it in possibly one day. What's more, ChatGPT can write programs, which is codes, and also can do many similar things. Artificial intelligence can also fully automate many manufacturing processes, as you can see in the video. As a writer or a factory worker or even as a coder, should I be worried that AI can take my job? The answer to this question can be best understood by the fact that there will be certain jobs which can be completely automated like you saw in the case of manufacturing process. But when it comes to jobs which are based on human intelligence, cognitive power and decision making abilities, AI is still not such a big threat. Look at the example of writing the article. ChatGPT was able to produce a fantastic result but I had written the prompt. What it means that Humans 
as humans we can use ai to make ourselves more efficient at what we do best example is the use of robots to conduct surgeries as you can see in this video robotic hands can be more precise and can reach the human body where normal instruments may not but as you can see in this video doctors are giving instructions and observing it all the way these types of surgeries are more precise and results into less blood loss and less severe wound resulting into faster recoveries so what is that take away let me give you my thoughts point number 1 there are going to be several jobs which can be completely replaced by ai machines and those workers have to be concerned about upskilling reskilling so that they can be employed in jobs where ai cannot replace them completely point number 2 it can definitely also partially replace several other things for example surgery programming or even writing articles but as you have seen these jobs are not 100% done by the ai machines they still need humans to complete the task so if i am a knowledge worker working as a programmer as a doctor or even into writing i should be looking at ai as something which is going to help me become more efficient rather than worried about that it can take my job so we have to embrace ai to become better at what we do let me end this video with a quote ai won't replace humans but humans with ai knowledge will replace humans without ai knowledge i hope i was able to give you some answers to this burning question if you like the video please subscribe to our channel tech canvas thank you for watching this video